Hello, happy Saturday. So I've been sitting here making a list. One of the items on the list is to seal off the saucers for all my terracotta pots. So like I have all these wood surfaces, the floor, plant shelf, entertainment center, like all these surfaces that could be damaged by the water leaking through. So I have this clear Rust-Oleum clear gloss paint stuff that I need to do a couple layers of. I'm gonna paint that onto the inside of the saucer so that any water that comes out when I water plants or if I'm bottom watering, it won't leak through and make a mess. So that's what I wanna do today. And it's kind of a change of plans. It's already noon, noon 15. <laughs> It feels like my day's already gone. Sorry about all the moving. I'll stop moving there. It's already the afternoon, which is stressful for me because it feels like I've already lost the whole day, which is not true. But I'm going to go ahead and set up, make space on the floor, and start laying out these terracotta pots. I think that if I can get this first coat on here in the next hour or so, then I can go to the store and then I can come back and do another coat, I don't know. I think maybe three is the max I wanna do, but definitely two and then let it dry for a couple days. Yeah, let's just, let's just do stuff, okay. Some of these have little chips. This one has like a little chip up there or cracks in them. So I'm going to do my best to glue and repair a few of these and hopefully everything will dry by the time I'm ready to paint stuff. Okay. Okay, realized, can you see me? I don't know. Realized as I was doing those pieces that I had a bunch more saucers in my kitchen. So I'm gonna wipe those out really quick. And hopefully this direction and this lighting will be easier to see. Anyways, carry on.
Okay, it's been a couple hours and a lot of these, they feel dry. They don't look dry, but they are. It's kind of that glazed look. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat. These are definitely tacky. Yeah, some parts are still wet. Definitely tacky. Larger saucers did fine. They feel like they're fully dried. Um, obviously, several of these smaller ones are still full. more hours and we will do a test it's been three hours I have the windows open so it'll be noisy but I can check these out these could go just a little bit longer but I think most of these are dry I'm going to fill these up this and this I'm gonna fill them up with water and we'll see how they do. Okay, it's eight o'clock. It's been another couple hours and I just wanted to check on these probably because I didn't let these dry fully, but you can see some light blue coming back in as if the, the paint's kind of rehydrating. You can see it here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these out. I'm not seeing any leaking underneath and I'm not seeing any moisture on the edges, which is great. So I think this will work. Good morning, it is the next day and I just wanted to show you all what happened with one of the saucers. Um, so after pouring everything out last night, um, I just let everything continue drying and one of the saucers has a little bit of flaking. So it's one of these Ikea saucers that, you know, were $4. Let me turn this around. Of course, this is a different material, so it's going to react differently. Um, but as you can see, like I'm going to need to probably scrape this off and re-seal this one, and that's totally fine. The others did not have the same reaction, and I think that's because they're actually terracotta or whatever the material is is different. Um, this potentially had some sort of coating on it, but... I don't know, and it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna just go ahead and scrape this off, reapply um, some layers, and while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and do a third round on this one, um, just to be completely sure. But everything else, I think everything else is gonna work. Even this little guy that was cracked, he's doing fine. So yeah, it worked out.